Communities of Opportunity is an initiative that started in 2014 that is really focused on trying to dismantle the inequities that continue to cause harm and instead fill that space again with growth. So we live in a society that is constantly asking what more can we take? The question we need is what can we give? Land is not about having rights to land, but having responsibility for land. What a different orientation to the land that's sacred. The UN Biodiversity Report, it is heartbreaking. This is the report that documents that in the last 50 years, 70% of our songbirds are gone. But it has one big ray of hope in there and that there are places on the planet where this plummeting of biodiversity is not happening. And that's indigenous homelands. Shouldn't we be asking why that is? because of indigenous land management, because of indigenous science of caring for, for the earth, because of this notion that the well-being of people and the well-being of land are the same. So when we illuminate these assumptions about what land means, we might live very differently. And that's really, in a sense, what braiding sweetgrass is asking, you know, what, what if? What if we thought about ourselves and about land differently? I am really proud to tell you that right down the hall from where my professor said I probably had made a mistake, we have the Center for Native Peoples and the Environment. Yeah. I just pinch myself in seminar that I'm sitting there with 10 Native grad students from all over Turtle Island who are using indigenous and Western sciences to care for Mother Earth. You can't have depth perception without two eyes. I would say we cannot have depth perception by looking at the world through only one lens. And that we gain that depth when we look at the world through multiple lenses. <laughs>